Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to prep your nails for dip powder or gel nail polish. And this is just what I personally do. There's honestly so many ways you can do this, but I like this routine because it's really simple and great for beginners. So getting right into it, this is the before. Really not that bad. I try to keep up with a nail care routine so they don't get too crusty, but I still had a little bit of dryness and cuticle buildup. So I like to start with my cuticles and this you guys is one of my favorite products this is the blue cross cuticle remover i've been using it for around two three years now and i love it it's affordable it lasts a while and it gets the job done so i'm just going to put a little bit of that around my cuticle area and then i'm going to grab an orange wood stick or a birch wood stick it's called multiple things but really it's just this small wooden stick that you can use to push back or remove your cuticles and i personally like these better than metal pushers just because i feel like it's a lot more gentle but if you do have tougher cuticles or a lot of buildup then you can also use the metal tool so basically what I do is turn it to the side and just gently start rubbing off or not rubbing off but rubbing around my cuticle area and you'll see that it slowly just rolls off the nail plate which is kind of gross but really satisfying at the same time so I'm just gonna do that and this doesn't really take that long I would say around 30 seconds per nail if that I'm really taking my time here so you can see the process but it's a quick process I try not to keep cuticle removers on for too long so as soon as I'm done with all my nails I'll go ahead and wash my hands here is what my nail is looking like already so much better after that one step so the next thing I do is move into shaping and filing my nails so this is gonna look a little bit different for everybody but I like to use a 180 grit nail file for this if you have weaker nails or splitting nails I would go up so something around 240 or 320 just because it's gonna be more gentle but I know my nails can take this so I'm just gonna go ahead and file straight across in one direction and this is again gonna depend on your nail shape but I'll just go straight across and then straight up the sides of my nails and then I also round out the corners just a tiny bit so I don't stab or scratch myself because that's no fun you know so I'm gonna do that and then the next step is to remove that shiny layer from your nails so your nails are naturally gonna have that kind of shiny sheen look to them which I'm trying to show you right now and you want to completely get rid of it and give it a matte look so you have two options here you can use a nail file 180 grit or a medium grit buffing block and really I go back and forth between the two it just depends what I have and what mood I'm in so I'm gonna use this and I'll show you both ways so with the file I like to go kind of in a circular motion and just gently remove it you don't have to apply any pressure or anything like that you just want to kind of rough up the surface so that the product has something to adhere to so you can do that or you can use the buffing block again I go in that same circular motion I don't really know why now that I think about it I just started doing that and I just went with it but the main thing here is to really focus around the sides of your nail and the cuticle area because that's the main place that your nails can start lifting or they'll kind of just pop off and if you're finding just in general that your nails are popping off it's probably because you're not doing this step so make sure you get rid of every shiny spot that you can see and then once you're done your nails should be looking like this now for the last step I'm gonna be using these makeup sponges or cosmetic wedges again it goes by different names but I get these from Target and they just look like this little wedges um but I'm gonna take that and then some rubbing alcohol and wipe my nails off so this is kind of a two-in-one step I'm gonna wipe off that filing dust that I just made and then I'm also gonna get rid of any oils that may still be on my nail so you can use rubbing alcohol to do this and you'll see that it really just dries everything up I'll show you Hold on. so wiping it off and then it literally just soaks up everything your skin will probably get a little dry too which is perfectly normal so this is what that looks like and then you can also use 100 percent acetone sometimes i'll use both just to really make sure there's no oils left on my nail but really you could just use one but just make sure after this step do not touch your nail plate because you'll just be putting those oils right back on so after this step you can go in with your base coat for gel or go ahead and start your dip process so i hope this was helpful now you can do your nails right at home and yeah, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.